Hi friends, this is Sandra Brown of Life Pushing 80 because that's what I'm doing, pushing 80. And uh, I'm in the process of getting ready to move. That's another story coming along. But uh, this is number six video of my paintings. And I still have all the paintings that are on the wall, but uh, we're getting pretty tired uh, carrying all this as we put, you know, make a video with them. We're carrying them to the car and we're gonna take them to be donated to uh, Ron McDonald's house in Chicago. Uh, this is a painting I did in 2014. It's an oil. And this is a, a dear friend of mine. She moved from Chicago. And I think I told you about the winter picture I did of her. But her home, it's over 100 years old. And they went in and renovated it. And they just, it just have a gorgeous, gorgeous garden. And uh, I had done this for them. And this would be the summer one. And I turned around and did one for spring same house we added a few chickens in here and the fence and birdhouse i'm going to do this rather quickly because we have a whole lot of paintings to do and this is a little further into the summer with the sunflowers same house in each one and i'm going to give these to jamie so if she sees this video then she knows this is a little Italian painting from Italy. I hope I'm, I'll hold this up so you can see it good. And here's a couple Christmas paintings I did with poinsettias. I like the way that one turned out. Um, I believe I painted that after taking some lessons with Nancy Medina, but I believe that was one I did on my own. Yes, and this one too was kind of a wild one, just something different the way I painted this. And this was inspired, uh, well, it's Nancy Medina, it's her design. There's another, it has the Christmas bulbs. And, and they are all in oils. Oh, this is something, oh, I don't know when this was a pretty old. Some painting I must have seen on the web and I just, Gave it a try, but I thought that was so cute. And that was in oils also. This one I just made up. There's a black cat on the post. There's a hunter out here with his dog in the picket fence. And this one, I just made this up. It's on a little board. I, I don't know why. Just kind of like the way it turned out with the telephone pole and the wires, the road rising up, the sunset. And this is one I just made up too. It was a teapot that I had and green bottle and bananas, the windows and flowers behind it in oil. This is one I made up. It was of dogwood. This is just kind of a wild one I made up 2015. And I believe, is that a peace lily? Huh? Get me straight if it's not. Some kind of lily, 2015. Um, I live in Crown Point, Indiana, and this is a covered bridge that we have in a park here. And um, uh, everybody loves to go through that bridge. In fact, I'm about due to do that with my little dog. She loves going through there. And this is another covered bridge painting, but this is something I must have seen on the internet and I change a lot of stuff in it. Hope you can see that good. Oops. This is one I just made up in oils, but I love uh, lavender and greens just go together so well. Make sure you can see all. This is a small oil painting I did with the sunflowers. I did a lot of this with a knife, painting knife. And there's a little cottage, 
with some wildflowers. There were the wild daisies. In fact, I think those, no, that's the, uh, uh, can't think of those, the, the pink flowers with the cone. Okay, and this is a, uh, one I think, I believe I've seen on the internet. It was a covered bridge, 2014 in oils. Okay. And this is, I think it was called The Visit. And this is all, I think it was, uh, it was all flowers with the gates here and the dog waiting and the bicycles here and he's visiting. Let's see if you can see all that. Mm -hmm. Trying to find a place real quick to put this as we're doing this. <laughs> and this was a class that I took with Johannes Bootmeyer uh, in 2016 uh, with the pumpkin field and the barns. And uh, this is a bird bath with the flowers and uh, sage. It's these originals. And I had painted a uh, the bridal bouquet of my niece. And uh, there were two of them, and she had her choice. And she didn't choose this one, but she took the other one. But. And this is one that I made up. It's a window, window seal, and a pot of geranium setting in it. Okay, this one, I really like this one. Um, Gary Jenkins, I painted this in his class, 2015. It's just so simple, but if you have a half-lit room that you have this in, it pops. I mean, it just pops right off of the canvas. It's just, I really like it. Okay, this is a long one. <laughs> the Eiffel Tower. Starting at the top. Okay. And moving on down. It's the, I guess it's a Volkswagen, right? A little red Volkswagen. 2017. This was in a class I took with Johannes Blutmeyer. That was kind of fun to do. And this is a little cottage window that I just made up with the flowers in 2018 in oils. And I painted a picture of uh, a friend of mine's little twin twin girls and she there was two of them she chose the one but this is the one she didn't choose but I still had this that was in 2015 and uh, this was a class I took oh gosh I can't think of the guy's name now anyways that class I took that was on a, a DVD I believe or CD something like that This is um, a little restaurant I used to go to in Hammond, Indiana. And after school, we'd walk past the Red Rooster restaurant and uh, go in and have a Coke and fries. And we had a long walk home. We didn't think nothing of it in those days, but it was just kind of nostalgic. So I wanted it to really stand out. So I painted all this in gray and popped this in the red. This is a fall painting. Pumpkins and Mums. It's original. And these are two sunflowers that look nice hanging together. That's one. 2017. And that's the other one. And oils also. This is Italy. There's something I had seen on the web also in oils. That's one of my older ones. And this is 
this, this is a very, it was a, originally a real long painting. I just took this part of it and painted the pumpkin and the other fruit and stuff. 2012, what else again? This was uh, a class I took that was on a CD. Forgetting his name now, Edmondson, yeah. His last name was Edmondson. Uh, this was a, a pear. I, this was kind of fun to do using a knife, doing the pear. I love the way the chair is. I'll try to do that close up so you can see it real good. Hope you can see that. Okay. And where is that again? New Orleans. Oh, and this is uh, <laughs> New Orleans. Okay. 2000, I think, 17. In oils. This is a little sheep painting I did. And this was something I, a still life I tried. It was a copper pitcher that I had and a basket and a couple tangerines. It was in the kitchen. And just was, and a lot of this was with a knife. I'll let you see that close up, okay? Those of you who are artists and like to see all the detail. Oh, this is just some little painting I was horsing around with a knife. I kind of like the way the colors turned out on this. It's got a gray background. Oops. This is one I just made up too. 2015. Bale of hay on the crow and the barn. This is another one. This is an acrylic. Oh, I think I was, did I get this upside down? No, that's right. <laughs> okay, sorry about that. But uh, the purple flowers and the green background always look good together. I was think I was doing that for an art class. This is one I just seen a photograph and made a painting out of it. It's, a little, it's uh, an old uh, schoolhouse with the swing in the fall. 2015 in oil. Mm, this is one I did for class of Paris. A little hummingbird, 2016 on this nest. London with the telephone booth. Big Ben, I guess. Another sunflower. I got a lot of sunflowers, huh? This is mine, red junk. So is it. Most of those I've been showing you were. And this is the last one. <laughs> I didn't think we'd get through all this. But this is one I just made up too. It's uh, salvia in an old watering can. Whoa. That was a fast one, ladies and gentlemen. I know it was. I'm trying to get through all that. Uh, I just want to remind you to and get really close to the camera because I can't get away from it. All those paintings are there. But I uh, just want to remind you to subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to get to 9,000. And I appreciate all of you. You've been so faithful and you've brought so many wonderful things to me. And uh, it just almost have brought me to tears sometime. I just can't believe the nice things you said about me. But um, I love all of you, and I'll be praying for you. And I got a scripture. It's a short one, but it says, By this shall all men know that you are my disciples, if you have one love one for another. Let me say that again. By this shall all men know that ye are my disciples, if you have love one to another. And that's in John 13, 35. And I think that's the most important thing. I don't care what you do. If it's done in love, you're not going to make a mistake. You know, sometimes we don't know what to say to people or what to do. But just do it in love, folks. Just do it in love. 
And okay, I think I might have one more, but it's gonna be much later on paintings. That is when I actually plan to move. And I do have a great love story coming. I'm very happy now. Okay, guys, bye-bye.